Now who's the damsel in distress? Me? Straight up. One girl who has made a name for herself being anything but the damsel in distress is Sarah Michelle Galler. Discovered in a fast food restaurant at the age of four, Sarah is recognized from several of her roles, none more so than Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I always feared there was something wrong with me, you know, because I couldn't make it work. Maybe I'm not supposed to. Because you're the Slayer. Playing Buffy saw her win over fans, receiving Kids' Choice and Teen Choice Awards for categories like Favorite Female Butt Kicker and Choice TV Actress for a Drama Comedy. Sarah Michelle Gellar. In between movies and television, Sarah found love with heartthrob Freddie Prince Jr. The two met on the set of I Know What You Did Last Summer and after hitting it off, married in 2002. When the director of Scooby-Doo wanted a real-life Hollywood couple to play Fred and Daphne, Sarah and Freddie were his first choice. The film Scooby-Doo opens with the breakup of the Mystery Inc. gang. Two years later, the team is reunited at Spooky Island, a popular spring break hotspot with a haunted house theme. Oh, I got a bad feeling about this. Those creatures are taking over the world? That is so mean. I enjoy being a girl. Needless to say, Sarah has a huge fan base, which can be attributed to her ability to be both sexy and fiercely independent. When the Buffy series finally came to an end, Sarah was more than happy to return for a Scooby-Doo sequel, which she followed up with the remake of the Japanese horror movie, The Grudge. I felt something was wrong. <coughs> what happened there? The film was a step away from the scream and run horrors that Sarah has done previously. The Grudge went on to be a surprise hit and paved the way for what will no doubt be a successful post-Buffy career path. You need to get some rest. One thing's for sure, and that's that Sarah Michelle Gellar's talents, skills, and audience popularity will keep her in the cinemas for years to come.